this is probably the best Pokemon product ever released. It's just so great. So basically what it contains is this metal Charizard and metal Pikachu and also metal Charizard pin. But it's a metal base set Charizard. This is a metal version of the original base set Charizard card and the metal version of Pikachu. Gold coated, very nice. And also two gold re regular cards, very sick. It's, I'm so excited to open this. This is gonna be so great. Man, it's tough as shit. I'm trying to get my thumb in there. There we go, it's cracked. Uh, and right now it's selling for um, basically double on the second market. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, good thing I'm opening this. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's probably a box that's never gonna get reprinted. At least that's the what the rumors say. I wouldn't doubt it. It just seems like such an exclusive box. Uh, I don't know how to open this. This is a little thing that comes off. Okay. And we push. What are we? Okay, I guess, I think we lay it down. Okay, let's see if I can get this properly on camera. There we go, that's probably better. Do I open it like a book? Oh, oh, it's got magnets on it. Okay, did I open it the wrong way? Wait, is it like this? Okay, okay, I see it. Okay, it's like this. So you can show it properly. This is what it looks like. You basically just lay it out like that and Wow, it looks very exclusive. It looks very sick. It's almost like a small little jars here that we got and we pull here. What is this? What am I pulling at? What, okay, what is this? It's a mirror. Yeah, I can see myself. There I am. What is this? What are we looking at? Okay, this basically just talks about the different promos and everything in the whole set so cool little pamphlet you know i'm not sure what this little ribbon is for but oh jesus if we open that we have the main course i guess let's start with the coins we got a pikachu coin 25th anniversary one seems like it's in metal it seems pretty like it's in metal it's not plastic we like that because i have the very cool pin of charizard um, look at that, very pretty. And Pikachu, I didn't see him. Very cool pin, I like that a lot. And then, of course, we have the bad boys. We have Metal Pikachu. <laughs> Jesus, dude. You are so sick. And Metal Charizard, of course. Just, oh, wow. I don't know what to do with these. Like, I should you sleeve them? They fit in sleeves, so apparently these have been going in very varying uh, qualities. Uh, I can see some dots here, you can really see that on camera, but I think that's not on the card. I do think that's the plastic. I do feel like this is a really good quality metal card. It looks like it at least. I have no idea if PSA is going to be able to grade these. I would love to send a Charizard in for grading. Uh, I don't see any scratch marks, maybe up there. I don't know if that's scratch marks, or it's just like, you know, like someone touched it before it went to, into the packaging. If we open it. Ah. I'm scared, I don't know how to really, uh, keep these I think it's probably best to rem oh my god it feels so proper damn it feels so cool you see when I touched it there it made a little smudge mark or did I did I make that I can't can't kind of see maybe I, I didn't make that no this is actually damage I think see up there damn like getting these in a if PSA grades these getting these in a PSA 10 is gonna be super hard I'm predicting that these PSA tents are gonna go for so much. So yeah. Maybe I'll grab a couple of these when they drop in price, but right now they're worth quite a lot. Wow, I'm just so baffled by them. It's hard to see if those are scratch marks or not. I'm gonna try and put them in a sleeve. I only have, I do have some bigger sleeves. Let's see, are these bigger? I have these 25th anniversary sleeves that I got from the ETV. 
Do you fit in these? He does. He does fit in them. Wow. <laughs> Just wow, honestly. Like, everything is on the car, like a regular base set one. Just fucking metal. Can't bend this fucker. And we have a Pikachu. Should we keep him sealed? I don't know. I don't know what to do with them. They're so cool. I don't know what this ribbon is for, really. I don't know. I'll put them back in there. Okay. And, uh, yeah. That was the main attraction, I guess. And also we got... I almost forgot. We got these two promos. These are regular cards, so they're not metal. They're just golden and colored. We got a Pokeball. And a Pikachu V. I wonder if these are actually playable. They probably are. I think most of the 25th anniversary cards are playable. These will probably keep sealed. Very nice. Nice looking promise. And then we got the booster packs. Check out the regular ones first. I am hoping for some fucking epic cards in here. Or epic packs. We got one, two, three Shilling Rain. One battle styles, two, three, four Vivulsion. Only one Darkness of Blaze. I like that. They've been cramming out Darkness of Blaze a lot too much, I think, in the uh, everything else celebrations related. So I'm happy with that. Pretty good pack selection, I'd say. And then of course, I think there are 17 Celebrations Booster Packs in this. Look at that. Look at that huge chunk. Very nice. Let's say we just get cracking. We got 17 Booster Packs here. 17 celebrations at least. Let's try and get a Charizard. We got the, uh, I put the Blastoise on stream from an Elite Trainer Box. Uh, I had an Elite Trainer Box that was originally gonna keep sealed, but it was so, uh, I think there's a card trick to this now. I think I've learned it. So you put one to the front. Okay, I think this is right. Groudon, Reshiram, Kyogre, Oh, that was the last one. Oh shit. <laughs> so not used to having only four cards in it. But yeah, I had a leaf in box that was originally gonna keep sealed, but it had a it had a hole in it in the plastic, so I was like, yeah, I might as well open it on stream. So you know, I do some openings on Twitch, so check out my Twitch down below. I do uh it happens, but I do other stuff mostly. Oh, they said Pikachu. Dialga, Cernius, and it'll talk. I just feel like this celebration set is just gonna be loved forever. I just hope, well, it's gonna be printed a lot. Uh, I think that's safe to say. Um, so yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna have to worry uh, of not get, oh, we pulled another one. Yeah, let's go. And another Pikachu, look at that. I can't complain about that. I love, uh, love the Blastoise card. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, my second Blastoise. I would love to get a Venusaur and of course a Charizard. That was, you know, I gotta complete them. Nice, very good. I just love, I, you know, Blastoise is my guy. He's my favorite dude. Put him to the side. There we go. Uh, these boxes have been, you know, pretty much sold out everywhere. Uh, so it's kind of unfortunate. A lot of people probably missed out on them. So here I am opening it for you, showing you what's inside. I'm I'm just baffled by this box. Just like the metal cards, they're just so sick. They're they just make this. I don't know. It's it's just so unique. Like we we'll probably never we might get something close to it sometime in the future. But still, it's just so wow. I just love it. I would just love to get one graded too. But I I, I wonder how strict they'll be on the grading on those too. Like, if, like, it seems like all the cards I've seen has some sort of damage to them. So I have no idea. I'm still one to the front then. Okay, yeah, that's right. Samazenta V, Cosmoem, Dialga, and Kyogre. Uh, damn, we've been burning through packs here and not getting a lot. This almost feels like a booster box opening. I feel like I'm gonna get so used to the pull rates and celebrations that just like any other sets in the future, I'm just gonna be disappointed with. So I feel like celebrations, you just have had so much fun opening. There we go, PD2. Uh, Cause it's like something in almost every pack. And you can't really say that with any other set. It's just uh, 
atrocious in some sets, you know. You can also hold booster box and not get like a single secret rare, uh, which is very not fun. Another Pikachu! Look at that, is that our fourth one? Hey, we got him! Oh shit, that was really high pitch screaming. Hey, fuck yeah! Yo, we got Venusaur! Venusaur and Blastoise, and they're in English, great. I just wanted to make sure, because, uh, uh, you know, and some Elite Trainer Boxes, this is obviously not an Elite Trainer Box, but they've gotten, people here in Sweden have gotten Italian cards, which, uh, yeah, this is obviously not an Italian card, but it could have been. There we go. Now we await this guy. Oh my God, it feels so weird holding the metal one compared to the regular ones. So cool. We just need you in the regular one, okay? Come on, buddy. Complete it for me. I need y'all. I need the trio. I, I can see that they reprint this box. I can see it happening, but just because of the hype around it, because like a Pokemon company would, company would just make so much money. So I don't see why wouldn't they, you know? It's just like free money for them. Oh, flying Pikachu VMAX. Hey, Ogre. Cosmo! Rocket Zapdos. Nice. Already have one of those. But still. Also, I read somewhere that uh, Pokemon has stated that uh, every set all the way back to Sun and Moon uh, is a uh, free game for them to reprint. So we could see some very interesting reprints in the future. That's why I'm probably going to hold off on buying. I was going to buy a Cosmic Eclipse booster box, but uh, and <laughs> I asked, I basically put it in a group uh, to see if anyone had it and I was going to buy it, but uh, no one had it at the time. So I was like, okay, I'm going to just wait and let's see what happens. Cause like there might, there's a small chance that something like that might be reprinted. Cause I mean, Hidden Fates was reprinted and uh, it's fucking older than uh, uh, Cosmic Eclipse. And it got a huge reprint. Oh, another. Reshiram, Groudon, and Cernius. So there, there's possibility, there's chance, there's hope in the, in the world. So I'm gonna keep my hopes up. I'm, I'm gonna stay low on the uh, sun and moon sets of getting booster boxes, uh, you know, just in case. Because there was originally, oh, another one. Uh, originally gonna be a Cosmic Eclipse uh, reprint, but it never happened because of the the hype around the modern sets, so, so I feel like they felt like they needed to uh, catch up on all the new, uh, newer sets, but maybe there's a possibility, I feel like. There were some really, uh, I think like team up booster boxes were dropping on the Pokemon Center website, which is really interesting. They, they go for so much, it was only a few though. Um, so they got sold out very quickly. Whoever got them, good job. You made a lot of money. I would love to see some dope ass reprints. It would just be so cool. Solgaleo, Eveltal, Sekrom. Oh, subset hit. I haven't got, got this one. Team Magma's Groudon. I like this one. I remember having this one as a kid. Obviously, in very shit condition, you know? I was not good at taking care of my cards. I was one of those kids who put all my uh, cards in a stack and then I put rubber bands around them. It was, uh, I, w I was one of those kids. I was basically the neighbor's kid. Don't hate on me. I didn't know better, okay? Put rubber bands on my cards. And I carry them in my pocket on the way to school and shit and show them off. That was me. Come on, baby. Oh, another Pikachu. Is that our fifth Pikachu today? Jesus, I told y'all it was gonna be uh, uh, common. Whoop! Cernius. We got two more packs here. Let's go a Chilling Rain in the middle here. Pulling an alternate art in here would just be fucking icing on the cake, really. Uh, yeah, these are gonna go there. One, two, three, and four. Fighting Energy. Laffy. Half to the Peak. Ledian. Sorolix. Laplace. Fearling. Galarian Slowpoke. Coffin. Shop it. Oh, jeez, I dropped it. Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's go Vivid Voltage, too. Still got two booster packs left. Uh, mm, ah, Charizard. Apparently, I think he's the hardest card to get from the set. I think so. There you go. One, two, three, and four. 
quality looks good, I think. Dark energy. Search your bath. Pipic. Cookie Enna. Blitzel. Skiddo. Do what? And Exeggutor. I like that artwork. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's grab another one. Let's go celebrations. We got two more. So sad seeing them go away. Ah, uh, I'm just. I feel like I need to pull the Charizard. I feel like I can't stop opening this set until I actually pull the Charizard myself. I don't want to buy it. Someone's into the. I saw something in the back. I didn't see it though. Uh, I didn't. I don't see what it was, but it was something. Cernius and Donphan Prime. That's a new one. We have not gotten that one before. I saw the glitter up there. I was like, oh shit, am I gonna pull the new again? But no, did not. Okay, let's do another chilling rain in the middle here. I would really love the uh, Moltres alternate art. If I don't pull it in the near future, I'm probably just gonna buy it myself. Because uh, I feel like the prices have dropped, I think, pretty uh, accurately for what it should be worth. I'm not sure what it goes for really, but like $90, something like that. What? Weeding gloves? That is a wedding gloves. Oregon 2. Kakuna. Larissa. Inke. Rockruff, Ghastly, Lediba, Sarina. Oh, Ice Rider Keller XV. I actually pulled this one before, but still a very cool card. Uh, let's go with uh, Battle Styles. Why not? There's some cool alternate, alternate arts in this one. There is uh, some shmoney to be made here. Oh, that was on the wrong way. Nice. Oh, now we know. One, two, three, and four. Chilling in a corporate door. Honor Energy, Tower of Waters, Carnivine, Ponyard, Cubone, Grimmer, sure, River, and Kingdra. That was a weird artwork. Looks very weird. Two Vivid Voltage. Let's do another Vivid Voltage. Why not? A very solid set, Vivid Voltage. There's uh, amazing rares, and there's fucking uh, Pikachu. I saw it. It was a white coat card. Spoiler alert, boys. Hold your horses. Because we are about to go and pull the rainbow Pikachu. Here we go. Swubato. Bladrid. Subscribe. Skiddo. Eevee. Shuppet. Chubbish. Choodle. Carolus. Shit. Diancy. Let's finish off the Celebrations Booster Packs. If there's a Charizard in here, I'd just be so happy. I don't know. I usually say I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this, but I would just be so happy. Just like all three of the the main guys, you know, the trio in an ultra premium box. It would just be so dope. Okay, one card to the front. Keep them tight. Professor's research. Cernius. Ho ho. -Oh. And last card is an imposter professor oak. No, oh, there's a new one. There's a new hit. I like it. So no Charizard today. So that means I'm gonna have to open more celebrations. I do have more celebrations on the way. I'm just not sure if I'm gonna make videos out of them. Oh, maybe the uh, the lunch box or whatever. It's like a tin box thing. I wanna open that one because I, I want the promos. They're so cool promos. I wanna have them in my binder. So I'll probably open that on the channel. Maybe I'll open it on stream and maybe make a video out of it. We'll see what I do, I don't know. Clara, Hunter, Blurred, it's a larva, a sheep, a bug, an octopus, a monkey, and a zebra, sort of. Let's go gamers. And this one, I can feel it, there's a Pikachu. Maybe even the full art Pikachu. That's a very good hit. Uh, the full art V card Pikachu. Trumbeak. Nessa. Krukoraku. Rubbish. Tynamo. Quabopus. A bat. A bird. A clay bird. Nice. I like those artworks. Coding energy. And a ninjask. Fuck. Okay. Charizard pack. Darkness ablaze. Let's go. That ripped very easily. Because apparently, I think the code card is on the wrong side. Okay, well, it was already spoiled. Why does it do that? Why you make me sad? What? 
What? Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. You guys saw it. That was a fucking green code card. Wait a minute. What the? What? You see there's something in here. Fletchling, Electric, Pansage, Skarmory, Marie, and a Rhyperior V? What? I, I don't complain. I've heard about this happening to other people before, but I've never experienced it myself. What? I was like, this is a fucking dog-ass pack. Thank you, Pokemon Company. You fucking tricked me. You bamboozled me. I do like these sleeves that they give away. Because they're very, they're sort of sturdy. Because they have sort of a, a, a harder, thick back. So, it feels like it's protected a little better than regular sleeves. Maybe. I feel like they would be. That's the only downside is that you can't see through the back, but hey. Okay, so that was that opening. Uh, I, you know, can't complain. Let's see if I can put them in a top loader. If that's even the correct way to store these, I don't know. Do you fit? He does fit. Let's see if we can start a, I don't want to bang the box. It's so, such a pretty box. He does fit in it. It's, uh, yeah, of course, yeah, there's a big ding there and down wherever the other one was. It was somewhere. I can't see it now that he's in the top loader, but the, oh, there it is. It's like a big sort of smudge there. It's very weird. I don't know how it got that, but there are probably some scratches on it too that I can't see, so I have no idea what what it will what it would grade for. Like maybe it's impossible to get one of these in a 10. I don't know, is is PSA like depending on like the overall quality of the card? Do, can they be like, okay, so like a 10 it's like not perfect on this specific product because like the overall quality is impossible to get a 10 on. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe they're not. They just create everything like on the same quota. So I don't know. Because if they did, then maybe some of these have a chance of getting a high grade. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. This is a very fun opening. I'm, uh, as I said before, I'm probably going to do open one more uh, celebration product. Uh, and then I'll be done with this set probably. So hopefully I get the choice hard. I'm gonna show off one pull that we did today because I don't want people to just fast forward and be like, hey, watch all my pulls. Go fucking watch the video, you monkey. Uh, yeah, we did pull a lot of other cool stuff. Some heat, some fire. So hey, watch the video, okay? Also, I forgot the giveaway winner of the Charizard VMAX is this person. Congratulations, I will be contacting you. Epic, schmeckbig, yeah.